In part one, we began stepping through the events of the National Geographic documentary Eternal Enemies, Lions and Hyenas, and comparing them to human behavior recommended in the 48 Laws of Power. So let's continue. After the female lions pull down a wildebeest, a clan of female hyenas find them and try to take it from them. Both sides fight the same way. They circle their enemies in groups and to try to bite them from behind. Later, a similar situation plays out after the female lions kill a zebra, but this time they have crossed into the territory of another pride. The enemy pride focuses their attacks on an isolated female, circle her and attack from behind. If another lion crosses the boundary and comes too close to the pride, the lions in the pride fight it. Males only fight against other males. Females only fight against other females. This brings us to Law 23, Concentrate Your Forces. Conserve your forces and energies by keeping them concentrated at their strongest point. You gain more by finding a rich mine and mining it deeper than by flitting from one shallow mine to another. Intensity defeats extensity every time. This law maybe should have been called Concentrate Your Efforts, so this comparison is pretty loose, but let's keep going. During the fight, the male lion of the enemy pride looks for an opportunity to bite, but ends up walking away without really trying. As the book stated, the female lions bring down their female rival. Law 26. Keep your hands clean. You must seem a paragon of civility and efficiency. Your hands are never soiled by mistakes and nasty deeds. Maintain such a spotless appearance by using others as scapegoats and cat's paws to disguise your involvement. A few nights later, the hyenas hunt zebras in the darkness, believing the lions are nowhere in the area, which turns out to be a fatal mistake. The narrator of the show says, Regal masters of the night wait and watch in the darkness, splitting off to find corners of their 40 square mile territory, or joining to hunt occasionally when away from the females. Law 16. Use absence to increase respect and honor. Too much circulation makes the price go down. The more you are seen and heard from, the more common you appear. If you are already established in a group, temporary withdrawal from it will make you more talked about, even more admired. You must learn when to leave. Create value through scarcity. And Law 17. Keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. Humans are creatures of habit with an insatiable need to see familiarity in other people's actions. Your predictability gives them a sense of control. Turn the tables. Be deliberately unpredictable. Behavior that seems to have no consistency or purpose will keep them off balance. And they will wear themselves out trying to explain your moves. Taken to an extreme, this strategy can intimidate and terrorize. And Law 48. Assume formlessness. By taking a shape, by having a visible plan, you open yourself to attack. Instead of taking a form for your enemy to grasp, keep yourself adaptable and on the move. Accept the fact that nothing is certain and no law is fixed. The best way to protect yourself is to be as fluid and formless as water. Never bet on stability or lasting order. Everything changes. As the hyenas eat their kill, the lion charges out of the darkness and pounces on the leader. He pulls her down and rolls her over, biting hard into her neck and using claws to hold her down. There is no hesitation in his actions, and she does not have a chance to escape. Law 28. Enter action with boldness. Any mistakes you commit through audacity are easily corrected with more audacity. Everyone admires the bold. No one honors the timid. If you are unsure of a course of action, do not attempt it. Your doubts and hesitations will infect your execution. Timidity is dangerous. Better to enter with boldness. The other hyenas try to bite him, and he chases them for a short distance, then stops. Law 47. 
do not go past the mark you aimed for. In victory, learn when to stop. The moment of victory is often the moment of greatest peril. In the heat of victory, arrogance and overconfidence can push you past the goal you aimed for, and by going too far, you make more enemies than you defeat. Do not allow success to go to your head. There is no substitute for strategy and careful planning. Set a goal, and when you reach it, stop. Without their leader, the hyenas fight among each other. They even attack the daughter of their former leader, who has failed to assert dominance and no longer has her mother's protection. The narrator says, Without the matriarch, the clan is in turmoil. They are leaderless. New relationships have to be sorted out. Second and third ranked females now compete for the top position. For months, the clan will be nervous and quarrelsome, weakened against attacks by lions and other hyena clans. Law 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Anger and emotion are strategically counterproductive. You must always stay calm and objective. But if you can make your enemies angry, while staying calm yourself, you gain a decided advantage. Put your enemies off balance. Find the chink in their vanity through which you can rattle them, and you hold the strings. Law 42. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Trouble can often be traced to a single strong individual, the stirrer, the arrogant underling, the poisoner of goodwill. If you allow such people room to operate, others will succumb to their influence. Do not wait for the troubles they cause to multiply. Do not try to negotiate with them. They are irredeemable. Neutralize their influence by isolating and banishing them. Strike at the source of the trouble and the sheep will scatter. Days later, the male lion patrols the grassland and marks his pride's territory. The male lions help protect the pride from intruders. They mark their territory by spraying urine mixed with their personal scent. These scents tell lions from outside the pride and other animals that the territory is claimed. The new leader of the hyena clan steps in to dig up the lion's marks and mark them for herself and her clan. This is clearly important to her, as an act of defiance and competition. We'll soon see how this action backfires on her. Law 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Everyone has a weakness, a gap in the castle wall. The weakness is usually an insecurity, an uncontrollable emotion, or need. It can also be a small secret pleasure. Either way, once found, it is a thumbscrew you can turn to your advantage. Knowing he is unable to stop her, the male lion walks away. Law 36. Disdain things you cannot have. Ignoring them is the best revenge. By acknowledging a petty problem, you give it existence and credibility. The more attention you pay an enemy, the stronger you make him. And a small mistake is often made worse and more visible when you try to fix it. It is sometimes best to leave things alone. If there is something you want but cannot have, show contempt for it. The less interest you reveal, the more superior you seem. After the male lions leave the area to go on patrol, the female lions and the hyenas watch each other suspiciously, neither side attacking or retreating. And then one of the male lions suddenly appears, from an area the hyenas are not expecting. This leads to a heart-stopping chase, not an ambush like before, where the male lion runs at full speed and with full intention to catch his enemy. He reaches out to trip the hyena, rolls her over, and closes in with teeth and claws. Law 35. Master the Art of Timing Never seem to be in a hurry. Hurrying betrays a lack of control over yourself, and over time. Always seem patient, as if you know that everything will come to you eventually. Become a detective of the right moment, sniff out the spirit of the times, and trends that will carry you to power. Learn to stand back when the time is not yet ripe, and to strike fiercely when it has reached fruition. As before, 
the close encounter ends badly for the hyena. Once again, the hyena clan loses its leader. Law 15. Crush your enemy totally. All great leaders since Moses have known that a feared enemy must be crushed completely. Sometimes they have to learn this the hard way. If one ember is left alight, no matter how dimly it smolders, a fire will eventually break out. More is lost through stopping halfway than through total annihilation. The enemy will recover and will seek revenge, crush him not only in body but in spirit. And there you go. Those are the references I can make without stretching too far, though I would not blame you for questioning a few of these comparisons. Do you think African lions know the 48 laws of power? Looks like they know at least one third of them. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for new videos every week or two, and see the description below for a list of books and films referenced in this video.